Mate, sighting lap, turn two. Unfortunately, one of the other riders lost the front and took somebody else out. It was a nightmare for the other guy because first dry session of the whole race weekend. I'm starting P30 because uh, I did astonishingly shit in the second race. Oh no, that's not fair, Hunty. You just came in. <laughs> you didn't do shit. You just realised that this wasn't fun. There goes came Scott in. Holiday. Yeah, I wasn't having a great time. I was not on great time. I was just crap in the mixed conditions and loads of people came past me. So, you know, it is what it is. So now we're just going to just try and enjoy the race. Just try and get to the front. Just race people. Just race. Ride the bike and race it. Look, I haven't even set my lap timer. That's like, this is literally the first time anybody's had a dry session the whole weekend, and it's in the race. And uh, lap one, I'm like, where's his time? What's happened? Why is he doing so badly? He looks like he's going fast. Also, What's going on? I <laughs> also forgot to move my transponder across between my bikes. Uh -oh. uh, and also, I forgot. You think with all the money I spent on the bikes, and I've got my laptop. It's got all my data from previous weekends. <laughs> I didn't even look at the data from the lap. <laughs> that, that wasn't my wife, that was my daughter, Margot. Are you practicing your burps, are you? <laughs> Say hi. Burps. Say hi, riding superstars, Margie. <laughs> but um, I didn't read any of my data before coming to the weekend, and so the gearing was completely wrong on the bike. And as you'll see down the back straight, I hit the limiter. On the first lap, I'm into the limited, say, seven eighths of the way down the straight, and going forward through the rest of the uh, race, I was hitting the limiter much earlier as you got faster and more confident. Here, this is, I should have just stuffed this under. It's like, it's a race. You need to take those 50-50 uh, overtakes. I mean, I know we all want to get make it home after the race weekend, but equally, you do have to kind of take those chances. That's something I need to work on. A little bit more aggressive in those... 50-50 overtakes. Do you know what, to be fair to Dickie, this was not an easy weekend. It was all over the shop with the weather. It was not a great first weekend. And you came start on the 30th. That can't be easy. I think you nailed this one, dude. Yeah. And as you said uh, earlier, I really enjoyed this race, actually. I came in, I was really happy. I was pumped. You know, I didn't get a result. Obviously, I started 30th. But, it's, you know, I'm just overtaking people. I'm having fun. And I take, I've taken the pressure off myself a lot this year. I'm not worried about results. Um, well, you don't need to. You're always P1. Right. I mean, brilliant. Rick's in his own class because he refuses to ride in Pirellis. <laughs> <laughs> and, but that's equally, yeah, it is, um, is what it is. It's an epic story. Epic. Yeah, right. Um, so what we're going to work on, we're just, you know, just seeing Riders on the Horizon and then that just is the carrot to get you to... Uh, crack on a bit and I can see Scott's come back to me. I don't know if he had a problem because new bike to him or I don't know what happened but uh, we're going to try and catch up to him and um, just ahead of us, uh, I don't know who this rider is, I probably should, um, but we're going to get try. that might be Peter Eccles who had a disastrous weekend. He high-sided in qualifying I think, it was battered and bruised so well done on him getting back out there. Um, I think we're going to get past him at the end of the lap and then uh, get, a, get on Scott and yeah, it's good fun. Hey, you did awesome. And I was on pit wall in the pouring rain, which was um, the two guys at the front. My gosh, they are fast, aren't they? You can basically boil yeah, tea right. in between them. In between yeah, them. What are you talking about? You what? Just, I, I would have been with them if I hadn't started. <laughs> oh, definitely. Oh, 100%. I'd have probably won that. this race. Yeah, no, you're right. You're I right. Mean, I was, you're uh, right. You're right. You're right. Like Sarah Pete, I didn't fully yeah. commit. I didn't go all out for it. Oh, fair enough. It's yeah. like when I go out and I win the warm up, you know. It's um, it's Mate, great. The best thing to do is win <laughs> inters on your track. <laughs> so here we go. This Peter. We're gonna try and get past him. Um, just I didn't I didn't do myself any favors. As I said, didn't read my data, so I didn't. I had the wrong gearing on the bike. Uh, but enjoyed the race. Yeah, and it was a good try. And also, um, I think intermediates would have been really useful. Uh, um, do you know in race two? I, I think I should have just bitten the bullet and gone out on slicks that, that I was um, I was thinking about doing. And then even then, it's like, you know, you learn something every time, don't you? When I came back in after being out and not having a great time, I could have jumped on my other bike and gone out. It's a wet race, you can change bikes. And my dry bike was sat there on the warmers with fuel, no transponder in it, obviously. But it was sat there and I could have gone back out on the bike. And even if I hadn't improved my position, I would have realised I had the wrong gearing in it, and then this race would have been, you know, more fun and would have been better. But you were a bit demoralised, didn't you? Yeah, I just like, 
uh, I just struggled a little bit with my positivity for uh, the race weekend and it really it cost me ultimately in the end because I didn't go out on the bike and then I didn't have the right gearing. Uh, but having said all that, I still enjoyed it and um, you know, still managed to catch up with good old Scott here. Although I checked the rear camera afterwards and after I came past him, I don't know if I just super demoralised him or and crushed his spirit or he had a, an issue, I suspect the latter, but he, he pitted, so, I mean, you know, look at this, I'm going to pass him on the limiter, so I'm not even getting near to what this bike can do um, in the straight line, so maybe he's, he's probably having a problem. And then this is Wills we're catching up on. Wills, we saw him in McDonald's afterwards. Oh, hey Wills! Yeah, I thought Wills had a good weekend, he looked like he was going well, pretty solid weekend, but he was down in the mouth, uh, which you don't want to see. Um, but he's, he's had uh, done the BSB test at Donington or Silverstone, uh, I think he enjoyed that and he's, um, he's going to be doing some BSB races this season so he's going to be, he'll massively improve when he does the BSB races and we'll, uh, I'm sure this, this overtake here will be reversed once he's had a few Ooh, BSB races. Oh, maybe that's why he was grumpy at Mac and he wasn't close there. Hey, I'm sure he would have enjoyed that and we like being close to each other. Bye everyone! See you later. Comment who you want to narrate the next one.